So Newcastle have left Villa Park with the heaviest defeat of the season on a day where it just didn't get going really, even from the first few seconds of the match. It was obvious that Villa were the team that were, were up for it and sometimes it's just unexplainable what can happen in football. Newcastle looking so good at West Ham and so good at Brentford in the second half uh, and then today to come here and just not perform at all uh, can be baffling but that's, uh, that's football unfortunately and Newcastle have lost heavily here and it's probably a bit of a wake-up call for them going into the last eight games of the season comes at a time where they'll be facing Tottenham in a decisive fixture and Tottenham might be looking at this now and thinking there is a, a chance of uh, sneaking into the top four now ahead of Newcastle who looked at one point that you know that place was going to be theirs they're now going to have to go back to the drawing board and, and start working hard again but in all fairness Newcastle have been brilliant all season uh, today was their worst day of the season but ultimately, in the Premier League, you know, there's just no respite. You cannot come here and expect an easy game. Unai Emery was orchestrating the crowd at one stage here. Um, Villa were on top and he was just absolutely loving it in the technical area. And Newcastle just looked uh, a little bit a little bit deflated, I would say. Uh, even changes in the second half didn't manage to spark a response for Eddie Howe and his players. Uh, but they'll be back, I'm pretty sure of that. Newcastle will go to that game against Tottenham uh, and look to make a statement and look to respond to, to what's happened here today. But a disappointing day all round at Villa Park.